Hey, what's up, guys? This is a movie review on the movie Crawl, of course, if you read the title. Um, so let's get into it. What made me want to go see this movie Crawl? Two things that got me interested. The first one is, um, excuse my ugly nail. Um, <laughs> um, the first thing that got me interested was it was based on this, like, hurricane theme version of it or whatever um i love hurricane movies i love dark weather and gray weather and stuff those are the best um i prefer those over sunshine yeah i'm kind of weird but that's okay that's okay but um the second thing is like when the creators get creative for like um alligators and snakes and they make them big and um kind of erotic and stuff like that and like something that you won't see in normal life because if i would have seen what I saw in the movie or in any other movie, I probably crap my pants. But that's what got me interested in. I like when creators um get creative with things like that. They make these things so unique and sometimes it's some it can be like I never knew anacondas existed until I seen it. And the kind of like no way there's a snake that big. But in real life I found out I did some more research and I asked people and you know x around and the kindness does exist so. but anyway that's not what this is about but those are the two things that got me interested in seeing this movie did it meet my expectations of what i thought about going into the movies stay tuned to find out if you don't recognize her here she also plays in the movie the maze runner she was the last girl that came up in the box Matter of fact, she was the only girl. Kaya Scodelario, I think I pronounced her last name right. If I butcher your last name, girl, I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything about it. But she plays Haley in this movie. And Haley possessed a set of skills that she's been training since she was a kid to be um to compete in this Olympic kind of um test thing. And these set of skills that she has, it can either get her killed because of cockiness or it can actually save her and her family who she's trying to, you know, fight this um, war against this alligator. So, could it get her killed or could it save her? Could it get her killed or it could save her? She's leaving um, a practice run for her, um, her competition. So, it's on her way back home. The authority stopped her because it's like pouring rain. It's so hard that you can barely see type of weather. It's raining hard. It's thundering. She got her windshield wipers going on, but you can't really see anything. But the authority told her to stop and turn around. But because, she, you know, she couldn't get through. So, by her saying, okay, I know this person. I know this um authority. So, maybe he'll let me go around. But... It didn't happen that way. He told her to turn around and go. So, okay, she was like, okay, I'll turn around and whatever. So she kept going straight and she turned around. Then she was like, man, forget it. I'm going back. I mean, if I was in her particular case too, in her situation, I was faced with the weather and they're telling us to get out of here because a bad storm about to come, I probably wouldn't have listened either. I probably would have turned around and too and try to go back and save this person if I was faced with the same situation that she was into. Okay, so she finally reaches her destination and she opens up the door and there's a dog there. And he's just barking and barking and trying to lead her to, um, I guess, whatever he wants her to follow to. So she follows behind him. And next thing you know, she goes in where the dog's telling her to go at. And she's fly, flapping away flies, swatting away flies. Um, And then she's, I guess she smelled this really foul odor. It's like, what is that smell? I mean, she didn't actually say that, but that was how her face expression was. So that's how I, you know, like, what is that smell? So then out of nowhere, you hear this loud, loud noise. Boom! I mean, it scared me. But, of course, it wasn't nothing, just something, in, you know, to get us riled up. So, in a way, as she continued on her path to look for this person that she went back for, she's walking in all kind of stuff that looks like poop. And she's walking in it, and she's just like, ew. So, she just kicks off her shoes, and she continues on her path. And she finally reaches him, and she see him, and he... I don't want to spoil you, so I don't want to spoil this movie for you do decide to go see it, so I might just leave it like that. So here's where the creators kind of threw me off a little bit. Now, I did some research on this part about how 
strong is an alligator's or a crocodile's bite. And I have and I have it written down in my hand. And it's about I don't have my glasses on, so it's about two thousand nine hundred and sixty pounds of bite. That's a powerful bite that's of recorded in history. I mean, that's a powerful bite. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because when the crocodile bit on her, he just didn't bite like a baby bite. It's like a real crocodile bite, you know? So he's shaking his head and swinging her from left to right, left to right, left to right. But somehow she got away still intact with her limbs. To me, the creators could have, you know, been a little more realistic with that. That's my opinion of that. So... That's why I did kind of a little research on Because I'm sitting in the movies like he throwing her and just slinging her from side to side. Still holding on to her. She shouldn't have walked away with that. You know, without, you know, with attached with that, that limb that he was biting on. So, that's my thought on that part. So, speaking on realistic with the creators. They did add in this part where every movie, or in, even in real life, like you have your own... Your tornado um going on, your your bad weather going on, they telling you to get out. What do you see? What do you see on the radio? Like for Katrina or something like that. Um, people still in TVs and stuff like that. Um, like in a movie, it was in a hurricane season, but this this part of a particular movie had took me back to um Romeo and Juliet. I think I don't know if that's the movie name, but it's the one with um Aaliyah playing in there. The late singer Aaliyah, and it was still in this ATM. Like, seriously, in the weather, what you gonna do with an ATM, yo? They got water like waist deep high, and it's trying to put it, you know, hide it and take it with them so they can get the money out. I mean, people don't think. I mean, that's even in real life. So I give them credit for that. I mean, even though the last credit with the alligator bite and she's still be able to walk away, I give them credit for this part. Because we do have our idiots today in real life who do that. Instead of them you know, trying to get the safety, save their loved ones and get safety. It's just ridiculous. But anyways, I give them credit for that. Sir. Thank you for watching. So remember the story that I told you about that turn her around? Um, and she made like she was going to turn around, but she wound up like zipping back by them and, you know, Ignore them anyways. So anyways, they actually went by the house and said if she made it out, okay, that she needed help with something. But they're knocking on the door. They're trying to call out to her. Um, so as she sees them, they, she's trying to get their attention. They're trying to get her attention, you know, knocking on. Because they see her car still there. So they know she's inside or whatever. So, but neither one of them can hear each other because they're competing with the rain of the noise um the rain noise the thunder and then they like waist deep in the water so they got all of this going on but they're still trying to connect and see if they can i guess um get each other's attention so did they wind up getting each other's attention and did they mind wind up making it out alive did that make sense did they get each other's attention and made it out to safety or did they all die or did some of them die i don't know I want to tell you, but I can't because I don't want to spoil you. Spoil it for you guys. So, okay. So by this time, part of the movie, um, she's aware there's alligators in there. Um, she's aware that it's waist deep if she goes in there. But she found her escape route. She found what seems like a safety net that she can get help and that she can get out the water. But the only way she can do this if she gets in that water voluntarily. Now I don't know about anybody else, but I speak for myself. Ain't no way I was going to get in the water that's full of crocodiles. The only way I was going to get in that water if you would have pushed me in there. Because I wouldn't have volunteered myself to get in the water full of alligators. I don't care how good of an Olympic competitor I am. There was no way. Uh-uh. You can just... I'm just saying. I don't know what I would have done, but I wouldn't have volunteered myself to get in that water. That's just me. Now, I'm saying that now, but if I was face reality with reality and I had to get in there... I guess a journey then would have had to take over because right now I'm standing here in safety. No water, no alligators around me. I'm telling you, ain't no way I wouldn't have gotten in that water. It's just me. Okay, so that was the end of my view of this movie, um, Crawl. In my opinion, would I recommend this movie to somebody to go see in the show? Honestly, I would say no. <laughs> I would not 
recommend somebody to go see this movie because to me it's like a good sci-fi movie something you can just watch on you like a lazy night or rainy night on at home and you, there's nothing to watch on tv this movie comes it's i mean don't get me wrong it's a really good movie but it, to me it's like a tv version like a sci-fi movie movie not really something Ooh, i can't wait till this movie come i have to go see it at the show to me this movie didn't give me that vibe so i will personally wait until it come out on dvd or wait till it come out on tv and say like that but if i spiced it up for you guys to go see it by all means go see it support it but i wouldn't recommend it to tell a friend and say hey you should go see this movie at the show or whatever if they were ask me i would say just wait till it come out on tv or dvd so that's a wrap, you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this movie review. Please leave your comments down below. Don't forget, I still have a contest going on, so you have to watch. It's a giveaway time. I think that's the name of the video to see how you can enter into that contest. And I'm going to tell you one way you can enter is if you leave comments at the bottom of, in the comment section. And I will put your name in it. So if I put a heart by your comment, know that I have entered your name into the contest. But you have to follow the rules of it's giveaway time. So go watch that video to see how you can compete. Or not compete, but you know, get um what I'm trying to say. So that you can be a part of the winning contest. So when I reach 600 subscribers, I can pull an AML. So just, just go watch the video to see what you have to do. But anyways, I thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and tell a friend if they're thinking about going to see this movie crawl. Until then, I'll see you guys in, a, in the next video. Bye and thank you again. Hey guys, so after you finish watching this video, check out my latest video. DIY beautiful paper flower to see how simple and easy I created this project and you can do it too because that's just how simple and easy it is and if you haven't already done so please subscribe like and comment this video.